this exploration, I normally do on a graphing calculator. But I'm going to assume that most of you do not have a graphing calculator. So we're going to do this on Desmos.com instead. So if you'll log into the website and then just click on Start Graphing, you'll get what I have on the other side of the video where you can type in an equation and a graph. Our first equation, we're going to type in y equals... and then x, and then in parentheses, x minus 1. And you can see that it does graph it on Desmos. You can scroll over here now, and it will tell you the x-intercepts. One of them is 0, 0. So your x-coordinate is 0. That's one of your x-intercepts. And your other x-intercept, where it crosses the x-axis, is at 1. It also, if you scroll over it, will give you the vertex. And so for the vertex on this one, it is 0 0.5, negative 0 0.25. On our second equation, let's go ahead and put that in Desmos. So I have 2x, and then I have x minus 2. And I'm going to graph it. And then if you scroll over here, you can see it crosses when x is 0. And the other spot that it crosses is at 2, 0. So those are my two x-intercepts. The y values are zero. I'm not writing the y values for those. I'm just looking at where it crosses the x-axis. If you wanted to write it as a point, it would be zero, zero, one, zero, 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 and then two, zero. My vertex for this then, if I scroll over it, is one, negative two. For example three, let's go back and I'm going to put a negative x and then I have x plus three. And if you look at, it's graphing that. Notice the a value here was negative, so it does open down. My two x-intercepts are negative three and zero. And then my vertex is negative 1.5, 2.25. I'd like you to start looking and see if you can see a relationship between the x-intercepts and the x-coordinate of the vertex. Maybe you'll see a pattern. On the next one, I have negative 0 0.5 x and then x plus 4. And so here's the graph for that one. Let's scroll over here. Our x-intercepts are negative 4. And my other x-intercept, if I look at it, is 0. My vertex is negative 2 2. If you haven't seen a pattern yet, let's go ahead and look at it. I have 0 and 1 for my x-intercepts, and then 1 half is the x-coordinate of the vertex. If you notice, that's right in the middle between those two. Between 0 and 2, the middle or midpoint of that is 1. The midpoint of those two it's going to be negative 1.5. To find a midpoint, you add them and then divide by 2. And the midpoint of negative 4 and 0, add them together and you'll get negative 2. So you can get the x-coordinate of the vertex from the x-intercepts. It's in the middle of the x-intercepts. And once you have the x-coordinate of the vertex, remember you can always plug that value back into your equation to find your y-value. 
For this next one, our x-intercepts are what makes each of these factors zero. And so what x-intercept for this is going to be negative 2. And the x-intercept for this one is negative 4. I could have done that for all of these, my two factors. So x equals 0, 1 makes that one 0. This one, if x is 0, 2x is 0. And then if x is 2, 2 minus 2 is 0. So this next one, if negative x is 0, or if I have x is negative 3, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. On this one, if I have x is 0, negative 1 half times 0 is 0. And for this factor, negative 4 will make it 0. So you're looking to see what each of these factors, what makes them 0. And then to find the x-coordinate of the vertex, you add those together. So that'll be negative 6 and divide by 2. So you'll get negative 3. And then I can plug in negative 3 here. So negative 3 plus 2, negative 3 plus 4. So that's going to be negative 1. That will be positive 1. And so that's going to be 1. So my y corner of the vertex should be 1. Let's see if that really works. So I'm going to go to Desmos. And let's delete this first one. And I'm going to put x. Oops, I don't want that. Plus 2. Eh, plus 2. And then on the other one, I want x plus 4. Okay, so let's see if that really worked. We did it by hand. And I want to check it with decimals. Okay, so if you look here. One x-intercept is negative 4. The other x-intercept is negative 2. And my vertex, drum roll, is negative 3. Oops, this should have been negative 1 here. Negative 1. Negative 1 times positive 1 is negative 1. So I did have a mistake over in my arithmetic, but I just checked it on Desmos and figured it out that that should have been negative 1. On the last one, let's see if we can do that one. What makes this 0 is 1. What makes that 0 is negative 3. This 3 on the outside doesn't affect anything since there is not a letter. And so if I add those together and divide by 2, so that'll be negative 2 divided by 2, so it's negative 1. And then when I plug in negative 1, let's see what we get. 3, negative 1 minus 1, negative 1 plus 3. So that'll be 3 times negative 2 times positive 2. So that's going to be negative 6 times 2, which gives me negative 12. Let's check it on decimals and see if I really, truly got that answer and if my pattern works. So I have 3, change that to a minus 1. And then the other one is plus 3. So let's check our graph. Now on this over here on the side, you can zoom out if you need to see it. Okay, so I have negative three as an x-intercept. I have positive one. That's what I got for my x-intercepts over here. And then our vertex, if I check that point, I get negative one, negative 12. Yay. That is it for the exploration. Go ahead and go to the notes for this, which we will continue working with this pattern.